Um, hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Easy Cooking video and I'll show you how to cook simple beef at home. So I have all the ingredients ready right here and I'll just go over them one by one. So the first thing you're looking at the beef and the amount I have here is uh, lesser than half kg. So the ingredients are based on the beef amount. If you're increasing the uh, beef amount or decreasing the beef amount then you have to just you know, adjust the other ingredients as well but uh, basically you know it works uh, you don't have to worry too much about like you know uh, being too perfect because uh, nothing is perfect and then you're going to learn you know once you started cooking it so not to worry about too much uh, having the right amount at the first time so the beef again is lesser than half kg and then I have potatoes here uh, you don't have to use potatoes but the reason I use potatoes because it gives the volume uh, to the curry and also like you know uh, it adds a separate flavor uh, which I like so basically potatoes come very good with beef and it adds you know more flavor and uh, taste to the uh, beef curry and then we have uh, the spices which is very important so the salt you're looking at right here is about uh, two teaspoons of salt uh, you can you know uh, put it more or less based on your salt intake I try not to uh, make it too salty uh, because you know I don't like uh, being uh, uh, I don't like to eat food uh, being too salty so it's about two teaspoon and then here this is the main ingredient of uh, beef curry which is turmeric or some call it turmeric and uh, here you're looking at about uh, two tablespoons which is uh, this size and then we have coriander and cumin and these are one tablespoon each and then I added a slight uh, red pepper and this is about uh, one teaspoon or a little bit lesser than one teaspoon uh, if you are putting this much to stuff it's gonna be too spicy so just like you know based on your uh, spice intake uh, adjust this amount and then here we have uh, onions uh, ginger and garlic uh, these are the very important ingredients to cook any type of curry especially for beef curry so in beef curry you need lots of onion and here I chopped one full red onion and here you can see that you know I chopped it into uh, very tiny pieces and here it's not uh, that much chopped it's like in you know, almost a hole uh, although it's chopped so you can see right here the reason is that uh, these are going to be melted once the beef is done and these will give uh, you know the beef a little bit of volume and extra flavor but you don't have to actually do it th uh, this way you can do it any way you want uh, and we have uh, 7 to 10 cloves of garlic uh, garlic also like you know a very uh, special ingredient for beef and then I have here a uh, little bit of ginger and this is I would say about one uh, teaspoon or half tablespoon somewhere in between so these are other ingredients and we have here the other ingredient which is very important is extra virgin olive oil any olive oil would do but you know I prefer to use extra virgin olive oil to get the most out of your beef so the amount I have here is about uh, 30 ml or lesser and we have here slightly lesser than one ounce so basically these are all the ingredients and uh, we're going to cook this uh, slow to medium uh, not too high uh, and I'm going to be cooking for about 30 to 45 minutes and I'm not going to add the potatoes initially because I'll just wait like you know 20 minutes and after 20 minutes I'll add the potato because what happens if you uh, add potatoes right away then it's gonna get all melted uh, it's not gonna be whole and nice looking but if you add potatoes after half of the cooking or halfway through which is about I would say like you know 15 20 minutes then it's going to get uh, you know uh, intact and then it's going to look much better and uh, you can add slightly a little bit of water but you don't uh, don't put too much water that's gonna make like like you know the whole uh, beef curry like a soup so I'm going to just show you how much I put uh, which should be good enough to give you the like you know a little bit uh, it's not gonna make it too dry so it's gonna it still give you the like a little bit of uh, soup uh, looking but it's not going to be too soupy so uh, we'll just you know add slightly water later on so let's start with uh, what do we have here so this is the pot we are going to be using and I'm going to just you know uh, add everything one by one in here so the first thing I'm going to uh, put in the beef 
and potato potatoes i'm leaving it for later and then i'm going to start with the onion ginger and garlic so we have it here So, so far it looks uh, this way, uh, we have uh, beef, onion, ginger and garlic and then I'm going to, you know, add all the spices together and uh, the last thing I'm going to add is the oil but let me just show you how it looks, it looks very colorful and nice and I'm going to just, you know, spread the oil all over it. And right now I'm going to just wash this to take the you know remaining oil which are still in the you know container. So let's add slight water, not too much. So this is going to be actually my water intake. I'm not going to put in more water than this. So I'm going to just you know add all this water, and then I'll have to just. Uh, mix this together so you know the all the spices and onions and garlics everything gets everywhere instead of like you know staying at one place so i'll just like you know uh, mix this very nicely i like to cook beef very slowly uh, that way it brings all the flavor and the taste and the color uh, so you know we are looking at 30 to 45 minutes and uh, here i'm going to be like you know checking uh, in between to make sure that you know, it's not overcooked but if you're using a pressure cooker or let's say instant pot then you can just put everything all together but here you have to like you know uh, check it manually to make sure that you know it's not overcooked or undercooked and when I'm going to show you later on how you can tell that you know the beef is fully cooked so we have everything here and you can see that you know everything melted inside very nicely or everything like you know mixed together and right now so I'm going to have to just start you know cooking so I'm going to put it on the stove and start very slowly initially I'm going to you know leave it at medium but later on I'll even lower from medium to like you know one or two marks about right here so for now just leave it, leave it at medium and then I'm going to just you know cover this and you can hear the noise so it starts cooking and then we're going to be adding our potato about uh, 20 minutes later which I have it uh, right here hello everyone we passed about 20 to 25 minutes and I'm going to check how it looks right now and I had to lower the you know heat because it was kind of getting uh, too much uh, or overheated and uh, I checked a few times in between uh, to see it's not sticking to the bottom so you have to make sure that you know it's not and so far I haven't added any extra water so we'll just uh, we'll just take a look at it now how it looks so you can see here that it's uh, boiling and so far looks like you know uh, we didn't have to add any more uh, water so what I'll do although we didn't have to add water but you know the it looks a little bit thick so I'm just going to add slightly more water and put in the potato because I don't want you know this much thick uh, soup uh, I just want a little bit lighter so let's throw in the potatoes And then let me just add some more water. So I'm adding a another two ounce or close to 50, 55 milliliter of water. So I'll just put it in and I'm going to just, you know, stir them properly. So the beef gets all the spices and everything. So this is how it looks so I'm going to just you know keep uh, cooking for another 20 minutes and we'll check so we may need more time but you know we'll see at that time after 20 minutes how it looks so I'll just you know cover this and then I'm going to just take a look at it again but in between I'll also uh, make sure that you know nothing is sticking to the bottom 
so we passed another 20 minutes since we put in the potatoes and now we have the finished uh, beef uh, curry so i kept checking in between and if there were like you know uh, when you if you see that uh, the heat is too much you can lower the heat or if you see that you know the water is too low and sticking to the bottom then you can just you know add a little bit more water uh, one way you can check if your beef is done or not uh, you can just you know take a piece of uh, beef and you can eat it and then when you chew it it should be uh, you know melted in your mouth it sh you shouldn't have too much effort to chew it or an another we can check if the beef is done that you just take a beef and you cut it with a knife and you should be able to you know cut the beef without too much pressure and it's going to be not uh, you know too hard or too hard to cut so for example if you look at it right here you see that uh, I was able to cut it very uh, easily and it's not too much effort and you know it looks very soft and uh, well done and in terms of taste uh, the taste is uh, very good uh, so this is just a simple way to cook uh, beef adjust the ingredients which I showed you before to make it more spicy or you know to make it salty but uh, the time it took me about uh, 45 minutes because uh, I was you know uh, doing it at very low heat but if you you know increase the heat then definitely you can do it faster but uh, this is my observation that doing or cooking at lower heat brings more flavor and uh, color and smell and as you can see that you know it looks uh, really nice and it's not too watery or too dry so it should is the perfect way uh, to cook, uh, have uh, beef uh, curry so that's all for today Thank you for watching this video if you like this video then i'll do some more simple cooking videos in the future and i'll see you shortly thank you